guys, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing the August BoxyCharm base box. So let's get into it. This is the box right here. It looks like we have two skincare items here, an eyeshadow palette, some, are these, are these magnetic lashes? Okay, so they're not magnetic lashes, but they're a pair of lashes and mascara. Real quick guys, just to give you a rundown on my video. So I am gonna be showing you each product and then I'm gonna be using them all so that you get more of a feel for how, how each product actually performs. So this first product here is the Clara's New York Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid. We have the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. We have the Laura Geller Eyeshadow Palette. So this is the Casual Collection Multi-Finish Eyeshadow Palette. Next up is the Rockins Cosmetics All Night Bender Mascara. So you have a curved wand. And last but not least, we have a pair of lashes here. So this is by Lava Beauty. These are the Flirty Lash Set. Okay, so I'm obviously gonna go in with the two skincare items first. So I'm gonna go in with the Ultra Repair Wild Oat Hydrating Toner. And I'm just gonna use like these little cotton squares that I have here. I'm just gonna apply this. Oh, okay, so this is sealed, which is good. I always look for that. You want the protection seal, right? Ooh, it looks milky. That's really unique. I've never seen a toner that was milky. They're normally almost like a, like a water consistency. So this is an alcohol-free oatmeal power toner that hydrates, relieves, and soothes skin while supporting overall skin health. Okay, so this is oat milk, colloidal oatmeal, and wild oats that are combined with honey and hyaluronic acid. Hmm. This does feel very calming. I do have a little bit of rosacea, and it just feels really good. This is $22, by the way, which I feel like is a really good price for how much you're getting in here. Next up, we have that hyaluronic acid. So this is what the actual bottle looks like. This is a 90% blend of hyaluronic acid and vitamin E. It's also naturally fortified with retinol and omegas. Hyaluronic acid provides anti-aging effects while promoting cell renewal. Oh, lightening, I was like lightening. <laughs> lightening sunspots and acne scars and reducing the appearance of wrinkles. Vitamin E hydrates while providing anti-aging benefits such as improved cellular strength and elasticity. This just gives you an overall brighter complexion and it is $24.99 which I actually don't think is bad either for a serum. $24.99, This doesn't have a scent by the way, and it's absorbing really quickly into the skin. It's not just laying on the surface, which is always a good sign. Okay, so I'm gonna head off camera real quick, finish up my base, we'll come back, use the eyeshadow palette, the lashes, and the mascara. All right, guys, let's try out the Laura Geller eyeshadow palette. So again, this is what it looks like. Okay, so the shades that I'm gonna use, I'm thinking of this guy and then these two. And then I'll probably use one of the champagne shades. It's like a highlighter, but I'm just taking that transition shade. This one's pretty close to my skin color, so you can't really see it that much, but it is giving like a subtle transition, which is always nice. This palette, by the way, is $45, which, I mean, it's a little pricey for a small palette, but Laura Geller is pretty infamous for having great quality products, so I guess it just depends on what you think is expensive. Now I'm dipping into a darker color. Go into the crease. I definitely took too much, so I'm gonna be blending this out for a little bit. This is actually blending out pretty quickly. I'm surprised because I had a lot on there. Right, I'm also gonna take that color underneath. Went a little harsh, but we're gonna blend that out. It's like the theme of the video.
Okay, now I'm going in with the lid color. So that is, that like, it's almost like a, like a brownie kind of green. It's really interesting. Urban Decay had a really similar color in their, was it the stoned palette? It's definitely cool. I will say it's probably better as a topper shade. And I'm gonna go back in with that darker shade and just go in the outer corner here. I really love this color combo. I wasn't sure when I first started to apply it, but it's looking good. Very fall. All right, now I'm going in with that champagne shade from that same palette and just cleaning up right under the brows here. So gonna do the inner corner. I will say there wasn't much fallout with this palette. I'm just brushing away a little bit, but it was a very moderate amount. And it seemed like that was just from the darker shade. All right, now we're going in with the mascara. So again, this is the Rockins Cosmetics All Night Bender Mascara. So I do like this one because it has a curved tip. So these are typically really good for curling the lashes. I'm definitely seeing a curling effect. And they actually look a little bit longer, don't they? I really like this. Okay, now we're moving on to the lashes. So this is Lava Los Angeles. So these are the flirty lash set. I do like these, they look like a really nice wispy lash. Let's see. Okay, so these are like little instructions on the lashes here. Then we have the glue, obviously like a pair of, I wanna say tweezers. What's like the professional name for those? Like lash grabbers? And then obviously the pair of lashes. These are very long, so I'm gonna have to trim them. Um, I'll probably just cut off, I guess I'll go on the outer corner and cut off maybe like a centimeter. I'm gonna be cutting off about, how are you see that? About that much. All right, I trimmed them down, so I'm just putting on the glue. I typically don't use well, like white glue that dries clear. I just find that the black glues I don't know, I just prefer them, I guess. And I like that they dry black so it blends in with the eyeliner. But I'm gonna give this guy a shot. It's interesting, it comes up as like a blue. I've never seen that. And I have eyeshadow all over my hand here. It looks like I have some weird like bacterial infection. Okay, I'm just gonna pop this guy on. Ooh, these lashes look more intense than I thought they were gonna look. Okay, so once I actually have them laid down, they're not that crazy. I really like them. Right, so these are both lashes on. They look really good. I've been doing end lashes every single time I do my makeup, but I forgot how much I like a full lash. So I'm gonna go in with that mascara again and just top these off. Yeah, they look good and I actually, I actually really like the glue too. I mean, you can't really, I guess you can't really tell, but I like the way that it dried down. I feel like the other glues, they almost leave like a residue or something. They just don't blend in completely. That's why I like using the black glue, but this one was really nice. All right guys, this is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I love doing beauty box reviews, any kind of, beauty box subscription review, I just, I love. So I, hopefully you guys like these videos too, but I loved all the products that I got. I love anything skincare, if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, so I'm really excited about these. So the toner and then also the serum. I feel like my foundation laid on really well after using this serum. But again, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. If you already got your box, let me know what you got in yours and if we have similar items or what you chose for your box. And if you guys have been subscribed for a while, I'm sorry that I fell off a little 
little bit. I, I don't think I posted a video in, has it been like a full month? No, I think it's been like two weeks. I don't know, it feels like two or three weeks now, um, but I'm getting back on track. I just, I've been working really hard over on Instagram to build up content for when we're going away to the beach. Um, we're gonna be gone for a full week, so I've just been like making sure that I have everything in order before we go away. Um, but I should be back to my normal posting schedule probably next week. Um, yeah, I wanna get back to doing two videos a week. That was like when I felt really good doing two videos. Um, I hate just throwing in like the random video every once in a while. Uh, but yeah, I love you guys so much. Did I already tell you guys to like this video? Like this video if you liked it and make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.